what's up guys so today i'm here with sam as s14 because as you may know in the video that boosted put up on his channel which was how to destroy a volvo we actually ended up Killing breaking the 14. yeah <laughs> breaking the 14. which what happened is sam did a nice smoky burnout uh not as nice as mine thank you <laughs> and uh ended up spewing coolant everywhere so the issue was that the thermostat wasn't opening and it was overheating so today that is what we're doing we're addressing the cooling system issue we've got a new water pump yeah new water pump nismo thermostat so it should open even earlier because i kind of need this done before i end up doing all the gym gymkhana and just blowing the engine mate <laughs> just cracking it all yeah pretty much uh the cooling is very needed essential. yeah it's very essential in a drift car so we're doing the cooling system we've got a new fresh coolant um we have got the uh um, green the green the green the stuff green. <laughs> which uh for the old japanese engines i find is the best normally is the stuff that you need to use for most old japanese cars is uh the green stuff with the thermoset and the water pump it should be a nice quick install and we can re um do all the coolant we are i think going to be plumbing in uh, some wiring for the fans because at the moment it's on a kind of fan switch that's in the pipe uh, but the, it doesn't actually work it's connected up to like a if you where is it where'd you put it's, it it's there it's there this thing ah, so it's connected up to that but it's kind of broken yeah it doesn't it just doesn't see. switch on yeah. It's like one of those aftermarket fan switches things that it, it's meant to switch. Uh, it's basically just meant to supply a live when it reaches a certain temperature. Uh, so it's just like a relay that kind of switches when it gets to a certain temperature. But that's not working, so I think we're going to just put some switches in. Probably going to be the best idea. So, yeah, let's just get on with that. We've got pre late start, and as you can see, it's snowing. But luckily, we were under a bit of shelter today, so it, it may not be a lot of shelter. But it's enough to cover us. But it's enough to cover us. So, we're gonna get it all flushed out because it's got pink in at the moment. So we're letting it all drain out and then we're gonna flush it out with the hose, which is essential when you're changing coolant because you can't mix two coolants, it just doesn't work like that. And yeah, let's get on with that. Guys, so we're back. It's gotten a little bit darker, so we've turned the lights on. But we've cleaned off the gasket off of the face of the engine and the thermostat. We've got the new thermostat there. Cleaned off the gasket off the thermostat housing there. So then it pops in pretty much like that. Make sure when you're fitting these, the little uh, nipple in there, it's like a bleed nipple, uh, well, bleed hole. Uh, just make sure you have that upwards when you have it in the engine. This is a little tip for you. Um, so this is going in, we've got the new water pump, that is a OEM water pump, uh, so it's different to what was in there, so I think it's been changed before so to like a, just a cheapy aftermarket one, uh, because it was all cast, the, the actual impeller blade. Um, but yeah, we've flushed it all out, uh, the bucket that we had, had underneath, um, that we flushed it all into, we kept on flushing it until it was pretty much clear, there's probably a little bit of residue of red stuff in there but honestly it's it's not enough to matter so we flushed it all out cleaned off all the gaskets made sure it's nice and clean like that as you can see you, know, you want it as clean as possible we've got some instant gasket there so we're going to pop that on pop this back in new water pump on uh pull the new lines in and then we can bleed it and it's got a little bleed valve in there uh, and where's the other one Sam did you say? Uh, there's one around this side somewhere. So we're going to run it up, open those up, uh, hopefully bring all the coolant down into the uh, radiator and into the block and everything and then we shall wire in the fans.
Okay, we've got the water pump on, we've got the thermostat on, and we're letting that dry for a bit. And we're just going to uh, put the pulley on and the belt back on. Um, we will hook up all the pipes and maybe even do the thermostat, uh, the fan switch while we're waiting uh, because we do want to wait till it dries before we start putting coolant in it. Um, yeah, it's the best, good best half hour. yeah, the best best thing to do with RTV and any kind of silicon like that is um, leave it for, for a while just so uh, it has a bit of time to dry. So With the paper gaskets you don't really need to, but obviously because paper gasket doesn't need to dry. <laughs> running it's been running for how long has it been running for now about 10 to 15 minutes about 10 15 minutes and it's all going well uh, there was a few bubbles coming out at first but there's not really any bubbles coming out anymore both pipes are getting quite hot whereas before the lower hose wasn't getting very hot the lower hose wasn't getting uh, very hot and that's why the thermostat we, we had a suspicion that it was the thermostat that wasn't opening because uh, the thermostat the thermostat opens on that lower hose so it should be getting hot when the thermostat opens and basically it was overheating and the lower hose wasn't hot. Oh no, we haven't even turned the fans on and it's not even getting hot. I think it's because the radiator is so big. But yeah, for when he's doing uh, duggets and that sort of thing, uh, he wouldn't it's, turn those fans on. Put it this way, before, uh, before I've done all this, if I left it running this long, it would be in the red zone. So, It'd be red. So it's, it's not red now. It's all looking good. We got the fans working now properly. Alright, flip it. There we go. We have flow. Hey guys, so that's it for this video. We have installed everything, we've been driving around testing everything, and everything seems to be alright so far. Uh, we have drove it for quite a while we've let it sit for a while and it hasn't crept over i know the gauges aren't very accurate but it gives us an indication and we've been feeling the pipe and yeah by this time it would have overheated by now so we're pretty sure it was the thermostat but that's it for this uh, install video anyway we've installed the water pump wired in the fans to the switch on the dash and then we have also uh, put the thermostat in and redone all the coolant. So that is it for today's video. If you like this video, go ahead, click the like button down below. Comment what you think about this S14. Uh, I know a lot of you uh, are kind of differing in opinion about which one was better, the S14 or the 15. Uh, but I think the S14 is a clever purchase for Sam in terms of uh, driftable car and uh, not as expensive if he crashes it, if it's an S15. Subscribe if you want to see more of this car and all the other cars in the full-time fleet. And I shall catch you guys in the next one.